Hey, what's up everybody? We're doing some work on the car, trying to truck along as fast as we can, getting a lot of stuff done. I'll show you what's up. Quick 67 update. I got most of the uh, sniper wired up. I still gotta run the fuel lines. Uh, the trans is fully installed. Uh, fully bolted up with the cross member shifters and all that so waiting on parts for this be pretty soon uh, I'll make a video when we do the first startup on it be a little bit yet okay on this if you watch my well, last video you know what's up but uh, yeah I said I was going to an air to air intercooler here it is this is a Garrett 950 horsepower rated intercooler uh, a real Garrett when it comes to air to air intercoolers uh, buy a Garrett a, a, it, you know something that has a Garrett core uh, everything else is shit Mi you know Mishimoto Treadstone CX Racing all those are complete junk if you don't buy you know Garrett just look at the just look at the fin density of that I mean it's just these and Garrett underrates their air to air intercoolers. I mean, this thing's easily good to over a thousand horsepower. It's pretty large, but it fit in the bumper skin really good. I got all the pipes made. Uh, it comes around, loops around, goes in. This one comes up, goes up. It's quite a bit of welding. I hate couplers, as you guys know. She fits pretty good in there, though. Happy with how that turned out. So the motor's all good to go. And uh, as you know, I was getting a power glide from Jake. He got that done. We got that put in. I'll show you that. It's freaking wrist thing. Got to get under here. I should have took a video when I had it out, but... There you go. JDR built number one. <laughs> but, uh... He painted it special gold for me. I love my gold. But it's got an Ultra Bell on it. Uh, it's a fully, it's a 180 gear set, straight cut gears, FTI Pro brake, manual valve body. I mean, it's got aftermarket input, output shaft, literally all the good stuff. Aftermarket tail housing. This thing, I think he said, was rated to right around 1500 horse or so. So we shouldn't have no more problems ever. Uh, I reused my same circle D converter in flex plate that all bolted up perfectly fine with the power glide um, Got a little catch can on there uh, I had to buy a different stifflers cross member, but I was able to reuse my 400 mount everything bolted up perfectly in here fits great I Got to do something about a drive shaft uh, We're gonna get a longer yoke just a little bit longer because Power glide's a little bit shorter than a 400, so now this drive shaft's a tiny bit too short. But I don't want to have to buy, spend $500 on a new drive shaft, so I think I can get by with just putting a longer yoke on it, which has got to have a different yoke anyway, because 400 and power glide are different. So that's up. That's what's with that. Got the intercooler all done. Got the power glide in and mounted, bolted up, and now onto the rear end. Yeah, we had to pull the. Rear end of it out, not the actual housing, but the, uh, the gear set here. Because I had uh, a set of 331 gears in this, and we we're going to put four tens in it. So, because that power guy's got such a long first gear, it needs a you know a different rear end gear ratio to help it get going so especially eighth mile racing we're not you know i don't want to be clicking into high gear right at the right at the end of the racetrack so right at the stripe i want to be shifting about halfway down you know at the 330 or something so putting four tens in it my strange spool here show you how that's done uh, while we're at it too this thing had Crappy, believe it or not, this car had crappy old drum brakes on it still on the rear. I've got fancy nice wheel woods up front, but I had drummies on the back. 
and we're gonna ditch those. I found a, I could never figure out what the hell this end is. This is an 8.8 Fox body rear end, factory rear end, but it had uh, these ends on it, which are kind of like nine inch ends almost. It's not a factory end because this has uh, axle retainer clip, or not, they're not C-clip eliminators, they are, because those suck. These are actually just bearing retainers. This has strange 35 spline axles in it, so they're huge. Um, but I could never figure out what this bearing is, because it's not a Ford uh, Torino style, and it's not like a early or Ford late 9 inch bearing. It's kind of strange. I finally figured out what it is. This is a, a Mosier uh, 7700 uh, end. This is, this is an older looking one. They, they kind of changed their design a little bit, but because this pattern here, this is, this side right here is shorter than this side. This top side's got a longer bolt pattern. They're not, it's not a perfect square. And this bearing is definitely a nine inch style bearing, but it's, I figured it out, it's the Ford uh, nine inch small bearing style. So it's got a nine inch small bearing with an eight eight, factory eight eight pattern on it. So that way you can use uh, nine inch style uh, axles and stuff in it. So finally figured that out. I found a company, I wanna say it was like Northern Race Cars or something like that. They make a bracket for one of these ends that then you can put SN95 rear GT rear disc brakes on this. It'll just bolt right up so I bought all brand new. Uh, it was cheap on eBay just to get a set of brand new remanufactured calipers and brand new drilled rotors and stuff like that. So all that stuff will just be plug and play, bolt right on, we'll have way better. Not that drum brakes are bad for braking, but they suck. They suck to work on. I hate them. They've got a million tiny little springs and uh, they suck because you have to pull the brake assembly off to pull the axles out on these because this little bearing retainer for the axle clip sets in behind the brake assembly. So that's where we're at. Jake's going to come over here. We're going to help. He's going to help me put the differential in. We'll get all that set up. And then I've got to wait a couple couple days for the brake stuff to come in. And then uh, we should be on the road again. Should be pretty freaking sweet. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. All right, on this differential here, I had to get new bolts. Because if you look here, these are the bolts that came out of it. They're like got no threads on them. And every single one of them was like that. Why that happens, I don't know because the threads in the actual gear set are perfect. And it's not like there's, it, these bolts are moving around to like smash the threads. It's, it's not that they're stripped, it's they literally just like, I don't know if it's just the harmonics and like this the vibration of you know, the gears constantly hitting, you know, and moving the weight of a vehicle, and it just kind of hammers these bolts. So that's something to look out for, guys. If you ever pull these apart and the bolts, you know, look like this, don't reuse those bolts because the chances are you will strip them out, and you definitely don't want your ring gear falling off. So I got new grade 8 bolts at the hardware store. We're going to put these in. Put a little dab of a red Loctite on there, not much, just to just to keep them from coming out. So I'm gonna zip these babies on here. When you're doing these, you want to make sure that you uh, torque these babies to spec. You know, what is that about? Five Ugga Duggas? Something like that. Okay, sorry guys, I didn't film when Jay came over. Uh, we got the gears in. Um, yeah, long story short, Jake and me put the gears in. Axles are slid in. We're gonna have to do something. I'll make a video when the disc brake stuff comes out. I'll have to maybe do a little bit of uh, modifying and stuff because of this lip of the bearing. That's normal, but for discs, I don't know. We'll see, I've gotta wait on parts to see where we're at. Yeah, there was no special anything that 
Jake's basically a mystical guru of gears. We've done them so many times that we don't even we don't even need paint mark anymore. It's just all by feel, and they're usually spot on. So, yeah, we got that done. Just stay tuned, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next one.